Welcome back all my subscribers and subscribers uh, to Julio's Kitchen Vancouver was for dinner Friday and today I'm gonna bring you a very special daily from uh, a dish from Cuba from most Cuban friends out there and uh, non-Cuban friends this is for you guys I'm making you ropa vieja it's a very popular dish uh, very traditional in Cuba and so this is all the uh, ingredients that we're gonna use. I'm gonna use uh, probably a pound of beef brisket. You can buy any type of beef, but beef brisket will be steak. Also, I am going to use one, uh, actually two cups of beef stock. You can substitute it for water or chicken stock, doesn't matter. Uh, as for the end, we're gonna use uh, probably one third of uh, red and one third of uh, green pepper and also one third of a medium onion, okay? So this is for the end. Also 150 ml of uh, tomato sauce. That's for the end too. And here is cumin, yes. One gram, a gram and a half uh, of uh, paprika. We're gonna use probably less, less than a gram of uh, basil. That's dry basil and dry oregano. And here is, we're gonna start with the cooking process right now. Once this is done, guys, I'm gonna leave you with it because this is gonna stay there for a very, very long time. Literally, what we want is the meat to uh, get very tender, very tender. That's that's what we want. So all we're gonna do here is that we are gonna mix everything, pretty much. Oh, two cloves of garlic, mint garlic. Okay, and everything is gonna go in right now because we're gonna brown, we're gonna extract all the flavors from this beef. There you go, all the dry stuff goes in, the cumin as well. We're gonna make this meat very, uh, lots of flavor. Okay, so this is it. Make sure you get brown a little bit at the end, and right away. You just want the flavors to come out, and right away we adding the two cups of beef stock, okay? And this is it, like I say, this is gonna stay there, my friends, for almost an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, okay? Because this meat has to become very, very tender because we're gonna shred it, all right? So I'm gonna see you when this is very, very reduced. I'm gonna come back with you guys. And I'll show you the next step to make ropa vieja. You very, very delicious Cuban dish. Stay with me. Like I said, I'm gonna cover this. And I'll come back when uh, this is being reduced. It's gonna be there for like an hour or probably uh, more than that. Okay, I'll see you uh, back with ropa vieja. Okay, so this is it. This meat has been there for a long time, my friends. Like I say, I don't have a pressure cooker to uh, tender the meat and it'll cook, but it is ready, almost an hour. If you have a pressure cooker, yes, please use it, but this is it. So I'm gonna show you right now what I'm gonna do with it. I'm just gonna take a little piece right here, okay? And this is a... Uh, the procedures they use uh, like I say if you if you can find beef brisket it'll be perfect for this type of uh, dish I'm using a piece of uh, steak but see how it goes so all we do is this we're gonna shred the meat yeah shred it like that and all the shred see the shreds are very small so for uh, ropa vieja, you need the big shreds, like, like that, look at that. See they're coming out? And that's how a ropa vieja is gonna look. I'm gonna shred everything, all, all of it, okay? And I'll see you in a bit when uh, the finish of uh, ropa vieja is done, okay? I'll see you in a bit. Here, I'm just, uh, yeah, I still want to show you how I'm advancing with my ropa vieja right here. So this is a patient time, right? See, shredded all this meat. And it's very soft because it was in, on the fire like for a long time. So I'm going to do all of it and I'll see you in a bit. See how beautiful it is? All right, see you in a bit. 
Okay, welcome back. This is it. This is ropa vieja. Okay, Cuban dish. See the uh, bay leaf? All the aroma, the essence is already extracted from them. Okay, so we don't need them anymore. Remember that stack right here where I did the uh, meat? So this is where the real cooking starts. Here we go. Green pepper. Onions. I'm not gonna use all of them because of the meat. See the uh, uh, how much meat I got from trading? Yeah, there you go. So just about that. So we're gonna let this cook right here. Ah, uh, God. Ah. I gotta use one spot. This is gonna see all that. Uh, 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 see all that. Uh, what's it called? The the essence right here on the side of the pan. Go, uh, uh, juice it and take it all down because that's the flavor. Okay, that's when they cook and that's when they say like, mmm, where do you get this flavor from? It's all there. So we're gonna let this be right now and get those onion cooked for a little bit, okay? And then the magic start. I uh, I was thinking about I was thinking myself I'm like I'm saying ropa vieja ropa vieja but then I say like didn't I, didn't I say ropa sucia I say like because uh, ropa sucia means dirty clothes but this is old clothes ropa vieja uh, uh, so anyways this is it so now very good so I'm gonna add the meat there we go. And this is the beauty of this dish. Oh wow, you're gonna start like seeing how this is gonna. Now, remember paprika? Yes, we gotta uh, give it a little bit of essence, you know what I mean? Here you go, this is Julio's Kitchen Vancouver, my friends, come on. Look at that, tomato sauce, remember? Yeah. And this is my tomato sauce, I made it. I didn't buy it. In Cubans love to put olives in it. So I'm gonna put olives. There you go. To your taste, okay? So this is it, pretty much almost. Remember there's saffron in there? Ah uh, but now the most important elements. What are they? Salt and pepper. Okay? So probably not even a gram of salt. It depends how you love your salt. I love my whatever okay and if the fire is too hot reduce it you know use your kitchen oh my god this is turning out so good so we got salt in there about a gram of pepper oh my god okay kill my friends am i forgetting anything else come on tell me this is pretty much done look how beautiful this is this is the beauty of Ropa vieja, and this is uh, I'm dedicating this dish to my, uh, you know, my special friends in Cuba. Dania, this is for you. See, I can cook you ropa vieja. Uh, also for all my Cuban friends here in Vancouver, uh, in in Cuba. I'll see you next time when all this is can uh, stable. So this is it. Uh, I got my rice. Uh, let's see, let's see. I got rice. I ready prepared right here. Okay, and I do have, uh, I'll show you, because the plating is gonna be very interesting. So okay, ropa vieja is done, and I do have right here, uh, sopa de frijoles. I made this uh, uh, a day ago, so I'm gonna use some beans to plate this ropa vieja, so please stay with me. And please try this day. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you so much. I'll see you at plating. My friends, this is the big finito. I know you always wait for this. This is it. Ropa vieja Cuban dish. Julio's Kitchen Vancouver style. Look how beautiful. It's, 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 it's okay, the element. But once you put into it, look how beautiful. The flavor is amazing. I don't know if the music is too loud. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Cuban music, obviously. Anyways, I'm gonna, I want you to take a good look at it. Look, isn't that beautiful? 
that is concentrated with the shredded meat we let it soften it for a while the banana uh, plate plate platin uh, chips all that juice and on the other side right here I'll show you I have my rice there you go and beans right it's very typical dish uh, Cuban dish and because yesterday I make the uh, Cebada, right? <laughs> Cheers. Anyways, I hope you love uh, my dish today. It's from all, all my Cuban uh, friends. And yeah, subscribe to my channel, please. If you haven't subscribed yet. And I leave you with my Ropa Vieja Cuban dish. Julio's kitchen style, obviously. Until next time, my friend. God bless you. Take care of yourself. And yes, what's for dinner next week? I love you.